You're watching Chicago Bears now just moments after the Bears lose 35-16 to to the Green Bay Packers to fall to 8-8. Eight eight. But the Bears are going to the postseason. Shout out John Wolford and the Rams. They beat the Cardinals 18-7. to And the Bears clinch the number 7 seed in the NFC. And they will be heading to the playoffs. We'll give some reaction to this game. We have lots of thoughts throughout this ballgame. But first, how about this? Like this video if you are fired up about the Bears making the playoffs. Look, you would have liked them to play better today. You always want to win your games, and especially against the Packers, and you had a chance. It's not as bad as what the score was, but hey, like this video if you're fired up about the Bears making the postseason. I'm pretty excited. They, they're going to face the New Orleans Saints. We'll talk about that a little bit later on, and we'll have a full-blown preview on the channel, so subscribe for that one. But first... Like the video if you're excited about the Bears making the postseason. I want to talk about a couple of injury updates, and then we'll give some more thoughts on this matchup. First, Roquan Smith left this game early on with an elbow injury, did not return, not sure what his status is going to be. He was questionable to return, never came back into the ball game. We'll see what Matt Nagy, we'll see what this coaching staff says after the game. We'll see if there's an x-ray or MRI of sorts, but he left with an elbow injury. And that is obviously a very big deal because he was around the football early on. Three tackles in very limited action. He was flying around. He's been probably your best player on defense this entire football season. So that's a big deal that he left this game. Also, Darnell Mooney, who was your best receiver in this game. 11 catches, 93 yards, including a 53-yard bomb from Mitchell Trubisky. He left this game with a leg injury and did not return Late in this one, I believe early in the fourth quarter is when he exited. So you lose Mooney, you lose Roquan Smith, but you make the playoffs. So kind of a mixed feeling heading into the postseason. Hopefully both these guys can return very, very soon because I think their, uh, their role on this team became even more obvious than it already was in this ballgame. So what is the bigger concern, Roquan Smith's injury or Darnell Mooney's injury? If it's Smith, type RS. If it's Mooney, Type DM. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Which injury are you guys more concerned about when it comes to the Chicago Bears? Is it Roquan Smith or is it Darnell Mooney? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Now I want to take some of your questions as we kind of break down what happened today. So we'll take a couple of them here. L2 Beast, hashtag Bears. What happened to our Super Bowl defense? Looked like a JV uh, team at points. A couple of things. Number one. Aaron Rodgers is really good, and he just owns the Bears. He just owns the Bears. I thought the defense early on in the second half actually played a little bit better, but overall had no answers. 19-24, 240 yards, four touchdowns, no buster screen, uh, no Jalen Johnson in this one. That's a tough thing as well. I thought the Bears actually did a decent job on Devontae Adams, who only had 46 yards and a touchdown, but overall... Look, you're right. Chuck Pagano's defense has not been great down the stretch. I thought they were good in the third quarter today. Pitched a shutout against Green Bay. Gave the Spares offense a chance. Offense just couldn't do its part in the second half. But yeah, this defense is not what it was under Vic Fangio. That is definitely obvious. That is for sure. And that is obviously a very disappointing thing when it comes to the Chicago Bears. But at least the Bears are in the playoffs. We can all be happy about that. Get subscribed to Chicago Bears now because we're going to have a full preview of their playoff matchup between the New Orleans Saints. Go ahead and hit that big red button and subscribe. We crossed 19,000 subs during our watch party. Let's get to 20K. Let's keep the momentum going here on Chicago Bears now. 19,000 of you guys have subscribed in less than a year. That is a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys very, very much. If you haven't already, Hit that big red button and subscribe because we're going to have videos every single day throughout the playoff run. And guess what? Once the season's over, we're going to have videos every day in the offseason as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button today. Before we take a mini look at this uh, playoff matchup with the uh, New Orleans Saints, let's talk about David Montgomery a little bit. I thought the Packers did a good job in this game. 22 carries, 69 yards. Uh, did get involved in the receiving game, nine uh, receptions for 63 yards. As I thought early on, Bill Lazor called a really good game. But then it kind of became this conservative check down offense uh, led by Mitchell Trubisky. 33 of 42 sounds really good, but 
only 252 yards, including 53 of that on one play. So we had 32 completions for 199 yards otherwise. I thought it was a conservative attack for most of this one. Obviously, the Bears did not want Trubisky to turn the football over. He had the one interception, but overall played it pretty safe, did not turn the ball over. And uh, luckily, the Bears were able to get some help from the Arizona Cardinals, who end up losing to the Rams 18-7, to which is why the Bears clinched that number seven seed. The, the Rams end up being the number six seed with that loss. But I think you're going to have to be more aggressive moving forward if you are the Chicago Bears as we get into the playoffs. Let me know what you thought from Trubisky today. A, B, C, D, or F. Grade his performance against the Packers. C+, I thought he did some good things, made some good decisions. Didn't take a lot of chances, though. I think against those top-flight teams, you're going to have to be more aggressive, especially considering this defense, while it's still good, it's certainly not elite by any means. So go ahead and grade Mitchell Trubisky's performance, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know how you guys felt about his performance in this ballgame. Get a few more questions from you guys in the comment section. Use hashtag Bears or Super Chat to get your questions on the show. Uh, Sagar Galani says, is everybody ready to admit that Eddie Jackson is just not that good? I'll say this. He has not played as good in the second half of this year. There's no doubt. Dropped an interception today, by the way. Had a chance to come up with a key pick. Unable to do it. I think Jackson's going to have to play better. I think this defense is going to have to play better. I don't think there's any doubt about that whatsoever. Still like Eddie Jackson. I think he's a good player. But uh, I'm with you. I think he's got to play a little bit better come playoff time, which is really, really quickly as they gear up the New Orleans Saints. Get going with our sports betting partner, Bet Rivers at chatsports.com slash betil, chatsports.com slash betin. If you're in the state of Illinois or Indiana, you can place a bet and make some money at Bet Rivers. They'll give you a 100% deposit match when you sign up, which you can sign up from anywhere, but to actually place a bet, you must be within state lines of either Illinois or Indiana. So chatsports.com slash betil for you Illinois folks. Chatsports.com slash BetIN for you Indiana folks. Get going with Bet Rivers right now. Chatsports.com slash BetIL. Chatsports.com slash BetIN. So you kind of look ahead now as the Bears got to get ready. They got a playoff game. We don't know yet if it'll be Saturday or Sunday. Uh, get subscribed to the channel because we will have a full blown out preview. Bears versus Saints probably early tomorrow morning. So go ahead and subscribe for that as well. But we do know the opponent. We do know the location. We just don't know what time it's going to be yet. It will be in New Orleans. Bears at Saints. Number seven seed Chicago. Number two seed uh, New Orleans. And hey, the Bears took the Saints to overtime earlier this year uh, with Nick Foles. If the defense can play a little bit better and Trubisky can play turnover-free football, I think the Bears actually have a decent shot in that football game. I wouldn't say they're favored by any means. But I think that's a game that they could win if a couple of things fall their way and the defense plays a little bit better. So I'm certainly excited about that opportunity for the Chicago Bears in that one. And I want to remind you guys, like the video. Be excited about making the playoffs. I know you lost, the Bears lost the Packers again, and it sucks, and Aaron Rodgers is annoying and all that good stuff. But you know what? You're in the postseason. You were 5-7 and seven a month ago. You win three out of four. You make the postseason. You're feeling a little bit better about the offense. I think the Bears and Bears fans should be excited about being in the playoffs. You should always be excited about being in the postseason. So like this video if you haven't already. And shout out to the uh, Cardinals. Once again, we're getting it done. Eight or losing. 18-7. to seven. Shout out to the Rams, I should say. John Wolford playing a solid game. Pushing the Bears over the edge and getting them into the postseason. Very exciting. We'll see if the Bears can play better next week. Uh, because they're certainly going to have to if they want to ma uh, make some noise in the playoffs. Get a couple more questions here. Let's see here. Vandy asks, so do we still bring back Mitch uh, if we make the playoffs? So they made the playoffs, but they lost. I'd like to see Trubisky play well in a playoff game. Uh, let's see what he does against the Saints. Kind of a mixed bag today, like we said, 33 of 42, 252. No touchdowns and a pick. Thought he played smart with the football, but I think you have to take calculated risks. I didn't think he did enough of that today. You've got to score more than 16 points in the playoffs if you want to win. It's not going to get it done against Aaron Rodgers. Not going to get it done against the Saints either, so he'll have to play better next week. But if he plays well next week and the Bears are competitive or win a playoff game, yeah, I think there's probably a pretty decent chance 
that he is going to return as the Bears quarterback next season. So one more time, the playoff matchup is set. Bears at Saints. Let me know how you're feeling about this matchup. Do you think the Bears will beat the Saints? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Will the Bears beat the Saints? Remember to get subscribed to the channel. Get your votes in and subscribe because we are going to have a full preview of this Week 17 matchup, or of this wild card matchup between the Bears and the Saints. Wild card weekend. It's going to be a whole lot of fun as Chicago heads to the Superdome to take on New Orleans in the wild card matchup. And by the way, it won't be a raucous New Orleans because of the whole COVID thing. There's going to be either no fans or very few fans in the postseason. So keep that in mind as well. It won't be a typical Superdome uh, uh, atmosphere there down in New Orleans. So the Packers win, but the Bears, Bears make the playoffs. All is well as Chicago now gears up for the New Orleans Saints. That's our uh, recap of this game. That's our th early thoughts on the playoff matchup. Shout out get again to the Rams. Shout out to you guys for subscribing all year long. We've had a lot of fun. Journey's not over yet. Bears get to play in the postseason despite losing in week 17, 35 to 16. I'm signing off, but stay tuned and subscribe. We will have a full preview up on the channel early tomorrow morning. So be sure to check that out.